Hey guys, so we'll go ahead and get started now that my hair is up. So go ahead and just come into a comfortable seated position. We'll start there today. Before you completely fall into stillness, take any wiggles and rolls that you may need here in your shoulders or in your core and your midsection. Maybe in your neck and head. Now you're ready, just close your eyes here. Bring that crown of your head up towards the sky. As you begin to lengthen your inhalations and exhalations here. And again, to let your day go. Bring your mind here onto your mat and into your body, forgetting about anything that happened today before you got onto your mat and anything that may or may not happen later on. We're going to practice a very simple pranayama today, feeling free to participate if you wish, knowing you never have to. If you're coming with me, inhale up for one, two, three, holding at the top for one, two, three, and then go ahead and exhale all the way down for one, two, three, inhale up two, three, and hold, do not exhale, hold, two, three, exhale all the way up, two, three, hold, two, three, inhale all the way up, for one, two, three, hold, two, Three. Exhale all the way down. Two. Three. Hold here. Two. Three. And then go ahead and inhale all the way up for that same count of three, or maybe you do four, maybe five here. Holding when you're ready for that same count. Before you exhale down fully and completely. Holding at the bottom. Last round here. Taking your biggest inhale all the way up. Holding it at the top. Exhaling down. Completely emptying your lungs when you're ready. Holding at that very bottom. And when you're ready, inhale. Lift your hands all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, pull your hands down to your heart center. Closing your eyes if you already haven't done so. And just take a second here to think of an intention for your class. Maybe you think of a mantra when we're done helping you move and flow. Maybe just call it in mind whatever brought you here onto your mat. And when you're ready, tuck your chin towards your chest. Just take a moment here, sealing that intention, sealing your mantra. And then keeping your eyes closed, or maybe you open them in. Inhale, sweep your hands all the way up towards that sky. And as you exhale, take your right hand to the outside of your left knee, planting your left hand behind you, and take a twist here. Gazing back behind that left shoulder. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, unwind. Inhale, hands go all the way up towards the sky. And as you exhale, bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee. No, left hand to the out. Yeah, left hand to the outside of your right knee. I was right. Gazing back behind you. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, slowly unwind. And then inhale, so hands sweep all the way up. And as you exhale, pull them down to your heart space. Pause. And then inhale, sweep all the way up. And as you exhale, bow forward, put your hands on the mat, rock up into a tabletop position. And then go ahead, inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts. And as you exhale, round your back, press your palms into the earth. That goes. Inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts. And as you exhale, round your back. Go ahead, do that two more times here. Moving through your cat cow, sticking where it feels good, giving a little love to those tight spots. And 
And then when you're through with your two, just meet me back in tabletop position. And you're gonna stay here, or lift your knees up off the mat. We're gonna take a hover, so tuck your toes up underneath your mat, shins lift up, up off the earth, knees lift, and we're gonna hold our tabletop, or this modified hovering tabletop, for three, two, one, as you exhale, push your bottom up towards the sky, Adho Mukha, downward facing up. Then go ahead and walk your dog out here, bending one knee and then the other. Maybe you sway your hips side to side, your choice here. Taking whatever movement you need. Settling and stillness in your own time, actively pressing your chest back towards your thighs here, start pushing your hands down the mat. And then go ahead, step your feet in as you pause into stillness, uh, one foot for, for, forward. And then take your right hand and reach for the outside edge of your left shin. Bend your right elbow and pull your chest and gaze up through underneath your left elbow. Taking a gentle spinal twist here. Maybe on an exhale you pull yourself a little bit deeper into the pose. And then go ahead, inhale, and as you exhale, slowly unwind. Planting right hand back down the mat. Inhale and exhale. Take your left hand to your right shin. Bend your left elbow and pull your chest through. We're working towards side crow and working on crow pose today in class. So this gentle spinal twist is just to warm up our spine as we move closer and closer to those poses. Take an inhale and as you exhale, slowly unwind. And then inhale all the way up into your tippy toes. As you exhale, tiptoe all the way up to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift length. Exhale out. Inhale, reverse one leg all the way up. Standing hands going to touch above your head. And as you exhale, pull your hands down to your heart. Face pause. And then inhale, sweep your hands all the way up towards that sky. And as you exhale, hinge forward from your hips. Inhale, halfway lift lengthen. As you exhale, bow forward, plant your hands on the mat, plant your right foot long back behind you, right knee's gonna go down to the mat. Inhale, hands go up towards that sky. Low, runner's lunge here, that classical variation. The back knee's down. Pinky swirling inwards to face each other, hugging your belly button up and in as you gaze up towards that sky. Take your breath in, as you exhale, bow forward, plant your hands on the mat, step back, high plank. Option for knees to stay higher, knees to go down, take an inhale and exhale, lower down to low plank. Inhale up, upward facing dog. Exhale, push your hips back on a mooka down facing dog. And then inhale, right leg goes all the way up towards the sky. And as you exhale, pull your right knee in towards your nose, plant your right foot down on the mat. Left knee's gonna go down, and inhale, hands go high. Blow a classical lunge. Again, hug your belly button up and in, front knee and ankle tracking one on top of the other. Bring your shoulder blades down your back and away from your ears here. Take your breath in as you exhale, again, forward, put your hands on the mat, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, step forward, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway, left lengthen. Exhale out. Inhale, reverse one down, all the way up to standing, hands going to touch. And as you exhale, hinge forward and down towards the earth. Inhale, halfway, left lengthen. Exhale, bow forward, plant your hands down, step your left leg long, back behind you, left knee goes down, inhale, hands go high. Just gently warming up our legs here with these classical sun cells. Take a breath as you exhale, bow forward, plant your hands down, step back, high plank. Knees stay up or knees stay down, move through your vanasa. And just as a reminder, everything I offer this afternoon is merely a suggestion that you can decide to take or not, depending on how your body is feeling today. Inhale, lift your left leg up. As you exhale, pull your left knee in towards your nose, put your left foot down, right knee goes down, and inhale, hands go high. From class today, I encourage you to take whatever your body needs. Take breaths when you need it, push deeper when you want to. But just know that all that matters to me is that you listen to your body and you listen to your breath. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bow forward, plant your hands on the mat, tuck your back toes, step forward, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway, lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reverse one, dive all the way up to standing, hands can wave your touch. And as you exhale, sink your hips up. Low, hands stay high, Uttasana chair pose. Weights back in our heels as always in this pose, so maybe pick up all ten tippy toes and place them all the way down on the mat. Maybe you hug your belly button up and in, and maybe you sink a little deeper. Big breath in as you exhale, bow forward, forward, fold, inhale, halfway, lift, lengthen. As you exhale, bow forward, put your hands on the mat, step, step back, high plank. Optional vanasa, make your way through your, your vanasa, mini, mini, downward facing dog. Mini brain part there. One of probably many today. Inhale, reach your right leg all the way up towards the sky. And as you exhale, pull your right knee towards your right elbow. Plant that right foot down the outside of your right hand. Pivot that back up between 45 degrees and 90. Rise up. Warrior one here. Taking time to set up the pose. Pulling right hip back, left hip forward. 
Still hugging your belly button up and in to engage those deep abdominal muscles. Take an inhale, energy exhale, bow forward, point your hands down, step back, high plank. Make your way through your chaturanga. Make me downward facing dog. Be mindful with each chaturanga, make them count. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, pull your left knee in towards your left elbow, plant your left foot on the outside of your left hand, and rise up, warrior one. Again, left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. Press into the pinky toe edge of your back foot here. Shoulder blades coming down your back and away from your ears. Inhale, and as you exhale, bow forward, point your hands down, step back, high plank. Make your way through your vinyasa. Meet me in downward facing dog. Okay, and then inhale all the way up under your tippy toes as you exhale, step or fold forward to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Then inhale, hands go high, hips go low, we toss in a chair pose here. Pull your pinkies in to face each other. Maybe you sink your hips a little lower. Take your breath in as you exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, reverse one of all the way up to standing hands, can we touch above your head? And as you exhale, pull your hand to your heart center and pause. Good. And then inhale, reach your hands all the way up towards the sky. And as you exhale, interlace your fingers here. Cross your thumbs. Release your second finger up towards the sky. And then begin to tick tock side to side here. Moving left and right. Maybe you tick tock back and forth. Or maybe you draw circles on the ceiling, going clockwise and counterclockwise here. Just moving your body. In all six directions, left, right, side, side, back and forth, circles. Before you settle back into stillness. Good. And you can leave your hands reaching up towards the sky, or your right hand can come to your left wrist if you want. We're all gonna inhale, look up towards the sky, and as you exhale, tilt down and over towards the right side of your mat here. Gazing up underneath your left armpit, as you press down into your left foot. Actually stretching out your arms, using your exhale to pull your deeper. Good. Pull your chin away from your chest. Take an inhale on your next exhale. Maybe go an inch deeper. One more. Inhale again as you exhale. Go a little bit deeper. Then inhale as you exhale. Use your core strength to pull you all the way back up to standing. And either recross your thumbs here and recross your fingers. Or maybe your left hand comes to your right wrist. And then inhale, lift your chest, lift your gaze. And as you exhale, tilt down over towards the left. Gazing up underneath your right armpit. Pulling your chin away from your chest. Pressing down into your right foot as you pull your body deeper. Good. Hips staying square towards the front of your mat. Shoulders staying square. Take breath in as you exhale, go an inch deeper. Inhale and exhale, go a little bit deeper. One more. Inhale and as you exhale, maybe go a little deeper. Then take breath in as you exhale, come all the way back up towards the sky. Take a breath in as you exhale, hinge forward, forward, full. Go ahead and take an inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, back. Give an inhale, in, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, back. And take breath in as you exhale, hands go high, hips go low, Utkatasana, chair pose here. Pinkies again, swirling inwards, they face each other. Hugging your belly button, nothing in. And then go ahead, come up onto your left tippy toes here. Maybe your left foot stays on the mat, or maybe your left foot picks up off the mat, your choice. We're going to hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Begin to hinge forward here. Take your left leg behind you as you hinge. Plant your hands down. Reach your left leg all the way back behind you. Low runner's lunge. We land with our right foot forward. Pulling your right hip back. Left hip forward here. Front knee and ankle are stacking one on top of the other in that 90 degree angle. We're going to take a breath in as you exhale. Step back. High plank. Optional vinasa. Meet me in downward facing dog. Good. And then inhale. Reach your right leg all the way up towards that sky. And as you exhale, pull your right knee in towards your nose. Try to compress your thigh in towards your belly. Take a breath in as you exhale, send it back. Inhale and exhale, right knee, right elbow. Stand the impression here. Try to pull that right thigh as high up towards your belly as you can. Take a breath in as you exhale, send it back. And then inhale and exhale, right knee, left elbow. Compress in if you can. Take a breath in as you exhale, send it back. And then inhale and exhale, pull your right knee in towards your nose. Put that right foot down the mat. Low runner's lunge. Right hip pulling back, left hip pulling forward. And then go ahead, stay here, or maybe your back knee comes down to the mat. And we're going to plant our left hand down and reach our right hand up towards that sky. Low one with a twist here, pulling your belly button up and in still. Actively splitting your fingertips apart here. And again, if you want this to be more strength, build and tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. Shoulders, you're stacking one on top of the other. Actively press your back knee up towards the sky if it's lifted. 
And then go ahead and take a big breath in. And as you exhale, use the strength of your core to pull you all the way up into a high lunge with a twist here. Gazing back behind towards your right hand. Hugging your belly button up and in. Good. Continue to sink down, engage your legs. And then inhale, and as you exhale, pull your right hand up and forward. High lunge here. Right hip pulling back, left hip pulling forward. Hug your shoulder blades down your back and away from your ears. Hugging your belly button up and in. And you can stay here, or maybe you bend your right elbow and bring your right hand into the center of your back. And your left hand can come in towards your right elbow. And it can come to touch for half. Arch your arms. If you want to pull, arch your arms. Take your left hand down and around, grabbing it behind your shoulder blades. And then release your hands in the middle of your back. Good. Maybe close your eyes here and help with challenge your realm. Maybe keep your eyes wide open, your choice. Maybe sink a little bit lower. And we'll take an inhale and as you exhale, release hands all the way towards the sky. Inhale and as you exhale, wrap your left arm behind you. Use your left arm to open you up and open towards the long edge of your mat. Take your toes out towards the corner as you sink down, goddess. This is where we're going to start. So maybe you sway your hips side to side here as you rock. Or maybe you just settle into that stillness. It's your choice. If you want your hands to rest at your heart, you can. If you want to come with me and towards some twists, take your hands on top of your knees. Top of your thighs, pull your shoulder blades down your back and away from your ears. Take breath in. As you exhale, tilt your right shoulder down and towards midline so you look up over your left shoulder. Take an inhale in. As you exhale, come back up. Breath in. As you exhale, dip left shoulder down, gazing up over your right shoulder. And inhaling and exhale, come up. Inhale and exhale, right shoulder down, gaze up over your left. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, come out. One more. Inhale and exhale, left shoulder comes down and towards midline, gaze up over your right shoulder. Inhaling in. As you exhale, come back to neutral. And go ahead, take a breath in. As you exhale, rise up, five point and start. Inhale in. As you exhale, pivot around towards the back of your mat, sinking down. Low, right, or high lunge here. Not low lunge, we're not making our way there yet. Left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. Hugging your belly button up and in. And then go ahead, bring your hands to your lower back and release them. Press your knuckles down towards the mat, inhale, look up. And as you exhale, begin to hinge forward here. Shoulder becomes parallel with the mat. Chest becomes parallel with the mat. Shift more and more weight into that left foot as you rock up onto your right to be toes. Stay here for three, two, one, and then as you're ready, lift up. Warrior three here. Keeping your right foot and your right hip square down towards the mat. Lift your body up. That way your chest is parallel with the mat. Hands can stay at your lower back or they can come forward to your heart. You can rest in prayer. If you want to reach your arms out in front of you, you can. If you want to take airplane wings, you're more than welcome to. Row to hold. Whoops. My hands are going to go down. For three, two, one. X four. Exhale, fold forward at the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway left lengthen. Exhale. And then inhale, reverse one of all lips. Standing hands coming to touch. And as you exhale, pull your hands down to your heart. Pause here for a moment. And then inhale, hands go up. And as you exhale, sink your hips down, hands stand high. We toss in a chair pose. Again, weights back in your heels. If you want to change up your chair pose, maybe you come up onto all of your tippy toes right here and right now and hover your heels away from that mat. And if you came with your heels up off the mat, bring your left foot back down the mat. Come up onto your right tippy toes and stay here. Or maybe you lift up your right leg. Holding. Hiking up that right hip a little bit. First three, two, one, begin to exhale forward, and again, as you exhale forward, begin to extend your right leg back behind you until you come down to your low runner's lunge, left leg forward. Left hip pulling back, right hip pulling forward here. Light on your fingertips, actively press that right knee up towards the sky. Take a breath in as you exhale, step back, high plank. Optional Vanasa, meet me in downward facing dog. And then inhale, reach your left leg all the way up towards the sky, taking a breath in as you exhale, pull your left knee in towards your nose. Cheetah pose, compress your left thigh up and towards your abdomen. Take a breath in as you exhale, hooks in the back. Inhale and exhale, left knee to your left elbow, compress, hold. Taking a breath in as you exhale, extend it back. Inhale and exhale, left knee, right elbow, pull that knee up and towards your chest, taking a breath in as you exhale, extend it back. And then inhale and exhale, pull your left knee in towards your nose, put that left foot down on the mat, low runner's lunge. And again, either stay here or maybe that back knee comes down to the earth. And we'll plant our right hand down and reach our left hand all the way up towards that sky. Twisting here. 
Take a second here to slow down your breath. Slow down your heart rate. And again, if you want to make it more of a strength building thing, tuck your back toes and lift your back knee, gazing up towards that top hand. And then go ahead and inhale, and as you exhale, use the strength of your core to pull you all the way up and towards your twisted high lunge here. Left arm reaching back, right hand reaching forward here. Hug your hips back, left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. Continue to sink down to those knees. Then go ahead and inhale, and as you exhale, wrap your left arm up and over. Hands come high, high lunge. Twist your stairs as you need to here, so that way your front knee and ankle are still stacking. You still got a good 90 degree angle going. Pinky swirling inwards, hug your belly button up and in, press your right knee up towards that sky. And then you can stay here, or maybe you bend your left elbow. Left hand comes to the center of your back. Right hand comes to left elbow, and you come into half archer arms. Or if you want to take this into full archer arms, take your right hand over and around, flipping it in towards your back, towards the back of your mat, the front of your mat. We made the back of the mat, the front of your mat. And then release your hands. Remembering to breathe here. Take the full arch arms, go ahead, release hands, go high. And then we'll take a breath. And as we exhale, use your right hand, hand to pull you up and open towards your goddess pose. Again, at the long edge of your mat. Once more, toes are still pointing out towards the corners of your mat, so adjust as you need to. And this time, hands can stay on top of your knees if you want, instantly settling into stillness. And hands can come up to your heart space. Good. And if you want to stay here, stay here. But if you want to come with me, take your hands behind your head, interlace them, hammock hands. Take a breath in as you exhale, bring your right elbow down towards your right knee, a little core. Inhaling and exhale, come up. Breath in as you exhale, go down. Full inhale and exhale, come up. Good. Take a breath in as you exhale, go down to the right. Inhale and exhale, come up. Breath in as you exhale, go to the left. Hold. Inhaling and as you exhale, come back up. Then go ahead, speed it up. Down to the right, up to the left, up, right, up, left, up. We got five, five, four, counting down. Four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Come back to neutral. And then inhale, five pointed star. And as you exhale, pivot, pivot, pivot around. High lunge towards the front of your mat here. Right foot's forward, right hip pulls back, left hip pulls forward, hug your belly button up and in. Fingers twirl and face each other. Actually sinking down into your front knee. And you can stay here, or if you want to bring your hands to your lower back and interlace them, you can. Press your knuckles down, gaze up, inhaling, and exhale, hinge forward. Good. Humble high lunge here. Again, chest hovering up off of your thigh. Keep your hands interlaced. And go ahead, rock up onto your left tippy toes. And stay here for three, two, one, and then go ahead and lift up when you're ready in towards your warrior three. Once again, your chest is level with the mat, it's parallel, and then it's in one long straight line with your back leg, so adjust as you need to. So don't be like all the way down here. Lift up. Get hands to stand at your lower back or hands and come to your heart space and rest there. They can go out in front of you, or they can go out like airplane wings, your choice. For three, two, one, exhale, bow forward, forward fold. And then go ahead and inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And as you exhale, plant your hands on the mat, duck or slope back, your choice. Make your way through an optional vanasa. Meet me in downward facing dog. And in this downward facing dog, we're going to take four breaths for ourselves here. So if you want to hang out in down dog, you can. If you want to move towards dolphin, you're more than welcome to. Or if you just want to rest in child's pose, that is a perfect place to be. Two more breaths here. Reconnecting to your breath, reconnecting to your attention. Last one. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, sigh everything out. And then go ahead and meet me back in downward facing dog. And let's all inhale up under your tippy toes. Listen carefully as you exhale, begin to walk your hands towards the back of your mat, towards your feet, meeting in a forward fold there. And then go ahead and inhale halfway, let's lengthen. Exhale, bow. Do that one more time. Inhale, halfway, let's lengthen. And as you exhale, bow. And then go ahead, glue your thighs together here. 
glue your big toes together. Options is to keep your heels on the mat, or maybe you inhale up onto your tippy toes. And we're all going to take a breath in, and as you exhale, begin to lower your hips down towards that mat, coming to crouch into a teeny tiny ball on your mat here, chin tucking in towards your chest, forehead and eyes resting down on your kneecaps. And then go ahead and take a breath in, and as you exhale, lift your head up off the knees, straighten out your spine, walk your fingertips up so they're in line with your hips or your thighs, coming into a double toe stand. If you want to grab blocks or a pillow or books to rest your hands on, you're more than welcome to. You're going to stay here with your hands down, or you can lift your hands up, your choice. Gluing your thighs together the entire time. This is what it looks like from straight on. Side view, this is what it looks like, okay? Okay. And so you can stay here, option to stay. Or if you want to come with me, we're going to take our right hand and reach it back behind us, and we're going to reach our left hand forward. If your hands are resting on the mat or a block, Keep your right hand down on the matter block and just re reach your left hand forward. You're still getting an action of that twist. We're going to take a breath in as you exhale. Come back around. Palms coming to rest your heart. Take a breath in as you exhale. Twist towards the left. Left arm goes back. Right hand goes forward. Again, if your hands are on the mat or a block, rest your hand on the left hand on the mat. Right hand reaches forward. Take an inhale in as you exhale. Come back around. And we'll all pull our hands down to our heart space. Take your breath in as you exhale, tilt your knees forward until they come down on the mat. Coming into a toe stretch here. Here's what it looks like from the side. And I know this is really intense, so just hold here for three, two, one. Wrap forward, point your hands down on the mat. Wiggle your knees back so now you're in your tabletop position. Good. And then go ahead and take a breath in. As you exhale, tuck your back toes, lift your back knees. Down both knees, not your back knees. Both knees, maybe in downward facing them. Then in the inhale, and as you exhale, rock forward, high plank. Hug your belly button up and in. Glue your thighs together. Knees can go down to the mat. Feet come up if that's better for you. Good. Fire up that core for three, two, one. And from here, we're going to walk our right hand forward. And we're going to reach our left hand up towards the sky, coming into a side plank here. Right knee can come down to the mat for support. You need that. Or right knee, you can stay lifted. Feet don't have to stack on one on top of the other. They can split apart. Or they can stack one on top of the other. Good. Left hand reaches up or maybe it reaches down over towards the front of your mat. For five, four, three, two, one. Slowly rock back around towards your high plank. Or walk, walking your right hand forward and over towards the right. And we'll all take that breath. And as you exhale, walk your left hand in towards midline. Reach your right hand up. Side plank. Press your hips up towards the sky if that left knee isn't down on the mat. If the left knee is down on the mat, then just keep it chilling on the mat for support. Again, feet don't have to be stacking, but they can stack if you want the extra challenge. And maybe that right hand reaches up and around toward the front of your mat. We have three, two, one. Take a breath in as you exhale. Slowly come all the way back around, both hands down on the mat. Take an inhale in, and as you exhale, push your bottom up towards the sky. Downward facing dog. And then go ahead and inhale, reach your right leg all the way up towards the sky, inhaling in. As you exhale, pull your right knee in towards your nose, crunch it in. Take a breath in as you exhale, extend it back. Inhale and exhale, right knee, right elbow. Take a breath in as you exhale, extend it back. Inhale and exhale, right knee, left elbow, take a breath in. And as you exhale, extend it back. And then go ahead, stack your hips here, bend your right knee, pressing your right shoulder down towards the mat, taking circles at whatever joint you need to, ankle, hip, knees. Or maybe you just settle into stillness as you actively pull your right knee up towards the sky. Then you're going to take a big breath in as you exhale, extend out your right leg. Inhaling and exhale, pull your right knee in towards your right elbow. And then step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Lizard lunge. We're not here for super long. I'm going to pivot around. Good. Keep that back knee lifted the entire time. And then go ahead and inhale in. As you exhale, step your left foot forward to the outside of your left hand. Meeting in Malasana, our low yogi squat here. Palms pressing together. Growing the crown of your head up towards that sky. Good. Maybe close your eyes and take this into the meditative space. Or maybe you come with me into a twist. And if you're coming with me, we're going to take our right hand out past our right foot towards the right corner of our mat. And we're going to reach our left hand up towards the sky. The entire time we're still engaging our glutes here and lifting up. 
get that twist. Maybe you wrap your pivot your left palm behind you and take your left hand to the inside of your right hip crease or over towards your left hip or your right hip. And we're here for three, two, one. If you took that half bind, slowly unwind. We'll all meet back in our base malasana. Option here to fly and crow. I'll break it down now. Or option to stay in malasana. We'll be here one more time. So if you want to fly and crow, put your hands down on the mat about shoulder width distance apart. Come up onto your tippy toes a little bit. Wiggle your feet in. So that way your feet are directly behind your wrists. So that way your knees are directly behind your triceps. And you can glue your kneecaps towards your triceps. Looks a little bit something like this. Okay, and you can stay here working this variation of the pose. Or maybe you lift up one foot. And then you put it back down, you lift up the other foot. And then you put it back down. Or maybe you lift up both feet. Coming into your variation of the pose, the full variation of the pose and flying. The more bent your elbows are, the bigger the shelf you have to rest your triceps on and the easier it is to fly in the pose. Still hug your belly button up and in. We're going to continue to play whenever variation we're in playing in for three, two, one. Take a breath in as you exhale, plant your hands down on the mat, coming out of your crow pose if you're flying in crow, and we'll all meet in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow forward, plant your hands on the mat, step your left leg long back behind you. Bring your left knee down onto the mat and begin to straighten out your right leg. Half splits, Ardha Hanuman. Hands can rest on the mat or block here. Your spine can stay nice and tall as you walk your hands closer up towards your body. If you want to stretch it forward and lay out here, walk your hands out in front of you. Drape your chest down over your right thigh. Your breath in as you exhale slowly beginning to make your way out of the pose you're bending your right knee rocking forward tuck your back toes lift your back knee and then step back high plank optional vinasa meet me in downward facing dog good and then inhale lift your left leg up as you exhale pull your left knee in towards your nose crunch it in to the pose and inhale and exhale extend the back inhale and exhale left knee left elbow take your breath in as you exhale extend the back and then inhale and exhale, left knee, right elbow, crunch it in. Take your breath in as you exhale, extend it back. And once you extend it back, stack your hips, bend your left knee here, taking circles at whatever joint you need to as you press your left shoulder down towards the mat. Circling at your ankle, your knee, your hip joint. And then inhale and as you exhale, extend your left leg along towards the sky. Take your breath in as you exhale, pull your left knee in towards your left elbow. Plant your left foot on the outside of your left hand. Lizard pose once again. Just like last time, we're not here for super long. We're using more as we're using it more as a transitional pose. So take a breath in as you exhale. Step. Big step up with that right foot. Me and me and Malasna. One more time at the top of your mat. Good. And so we're gonna rest here again. An option to hang on this Malasna variation. Or if you wish, you're gonna take your left hand out to the left front corner of your mat and reach your right hand up towards that sky. Hugging your belly button up and in. And again, you can stay here or you can flip your right palm back behind you. Taking a breath in as you exhale, bring your right palm over for the inside of your left hip or into your left hip crease. And if you just saw there, I wrapped my left hand back behind me and I went for the full variation of the bind. You don't have to do that. My body, without even thinking about it, kind of went there. But we're just going to focus on this twist, this stretch, and not the full bind. So ignore that. <laughs> I'll take a breath in and as you exhale, slowly unwind here if you took the twist. Playing both hands down on the mat. And again, option here to rest Malasana, or you can take crow. Just going where your body needs to go. If you're in flying and crow, go ahead, begin to make your way out of the pose. And we'll take a big breath in as you exhale, plant your hands down the mat, lift your bottom all the way up towards the sky, forward fold. Good, and take your favorite forward fold here. It can be ragdoll, it can be padastasana from the front, when the palms of your hands are underneath the soles of your feet. 
take Uttapadasana when your hands come to the back of your heels. Your choice here, but just take a forward fold, whatever that may look like for you. I'm gonna go ahead and take a, break, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, release whatever forward fold you, forward fold you took. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Do that one more time. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And as you exhale, bow forward, plant your hands on the mat, step and float back, making your way through your vinasa. Meet me in downward facing dog. Good. And then go ahead and inhale, lift your right leg all the way up towards the sky, take a breath. And as you exhale, pull your right knee in towards your nose, plant that right foot down on the mat. Low runner's lunge. Just keeping all that little core work. Plant your left hand down. Reach your right hand up. Low lunge with a twist. And you can stay here. Or if you want to step back towards your side plank, you can. It's falling. So that was doing there. For three, two, one. If you took that side plank, meet me back in your low lunge with a twist. We'll take a breath in. As you exhale, swing your right palm forward. So your right palm is facing in towards midline. Square your chest down over your left thigh here. Your right thigh, excuse me, and lift your left hand up, hovering for three, two, one. Inhale, pull yourself all the way up. Good. High lunge. And then go ahead, take your right hand to your left wrist. Inhale, look up, gaze up. As you exhale, tilt down and over towards the right here, making a C curve in your spine. Take your breath in, and as you exhale, open up into that high lunge with a twist, right hand back behind you. And you can stay here in this variation, or if you want to come down to the prayer variation, but bring your palms together to touch, and you take your left hand and your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, you're more than welcome to. I'll pivot around so you guys can see what it looks like when you're in your prayer twist. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to stay facing this way, now that I actually think about it, so that way you can just see it, see everything we're about to do. And if you're in that high prayer twist variation, just come down here to this low prayer twist variation. Or if you're in that high lunge with a twist, just come down to this prayer variation for a quick breath. Because what we're gonna all gonna do is we're gonna shift our gaze down towards our right foot. We're gonna begin to shift more and more weight towards our right foot. And we're gonna take breath in as you exhale, step your left foot up to meet your right, meeting me in a chair with a twist. Right elbow stays hooked to the outside of your, or left elbow to the outside of your right knee. And you can stay here, you can open up your arms like wings, or, that low prayer twist in your chair is too much. Come here to the big variation. Arms going long, gaze is back behind your view towards your right hand. We're gonna hang out in chair here for three, two, one. As you exhale, slowly unwind about four, four, four. Take an inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Do that one more time. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. As you exhale, bow forward. Glue your thighs together, wiggle your big toes together to touch and either stay with heels down the mat or maybe you come up onto your tippy toes. We'll all take a big breath in. As you exhale, begin to lower your knees all the way down towards that mat. And walk your fingertips up towards you and towards your thigh. So that way your crown of your head is nice and long. And we're going to come into side crow from here. Just a different way to get into the pose. If you know what other way that you would rather do, go there. But if you want to come with me, what we're going to do is we're going to take our knees out towards the last corner of our mat. Right. Yeah, I said right cor left corner of our mat and what you're gonna do actually no bring your knees to the right corner of your mat I don't think about that for a second right knees to the right corner of your mat no knees to the left because we twisted towards the left I'm sorry not enough caffeine today <laughs> like I said earlier in class first of many brain parts that was just like three brain brain parts in a row it's fine though <laughs> and we're gonna take our hands down on the mat shoulder width distance apart okay and you can stay here, just working this deep twist. Knees are resting on the outside edge of your left elbow and on your left tricep. Or maybe you begin to rock forward, bending your elbows here. Right hip comes to rest on your right elbow. And you stay here, toes down the mat. Or maybe you just do that baby lift with your feet and they come up off the earth here as you twist. Good. You just work this deep compression. And with time, you can extend your legs out and over. I'm falling. <laughs> extend your legs out and over towards the left. And if you're wondering what it looks like from a side view, here you go. And then you extend out with your legs. And eventually with time, you want to have all of your weight just on one elbow. So your knees are just resting on your left elbow eventually with time. Not so much on your right elbow, but when you first start out, it's okay if you're entire body weight is on both elbows, okay? I would rather you get the foundation of the pose first 
then do the perfect, oh my goodness, perfect yoga variation at the very beginning because there's a reason why that having all your weight on one elbow is the ultimate version of the pose, like the deepest variation you can go to, okay? I'm going to play here for four more breaths or you can just rest here with your knees tucked in towards your chest and a little teeny tiny ball. If you want to take a forward fold, you can. Two more breaths here. Last round, take an inhale in. And as you exhale, we'll all meet in a forward fold at the top of our mat. And then go ahead, take an inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. As you exhale, bow forward, put your hands on the mat, step or float back, your choice, optional, but ask meet me in downward facing dog. Then we're going to go ahead, inhale, lift your left leg all the way up towards the sky, taking breath in. As you exhale, pull your left knee in towards your nose, point your left foot down the mat, low runner's lunge. Left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward, and then go ahead and plant your right hand down, reach your left hand up, low lunge with a twist. And stay here, or maybe you take your left foot back to the back of your mat as you twist here. Hugging your belly button up and in and your side plank. We're going to hang out for five, why not? Four, three, two, one. Make your way back to your low lunge with a twist. Wall in hand, all in. As you exhale, take your left arm out in front of you. Palm faces in towards the midline. Square your chest down towards the mat. Lift your right hand up and hover for three, two, one. Rise all the way up, high lunge. Good. Adjust your stance as you need to if you just took it too big of a stance like I did. Left hand is going to go to right wrist this time. Inhale, look up, gaze up. And as you exhale, tilt down and over towards the left here. Making that big C curve space. Then shake through your spine. Then go ahead and take a breath in as you exhale, release into your High lunge with that deep twist. Left arm back behind you, gaze can follow. Again, often to stay here, or often for palms to come together, and you take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Press both feet down to the mat here. It helps have some stability and balance in the pose. And if you're like, this pose right here in this deep prayer twist is easy, open up your arms, like airplane wings. Take it a bit deeper, deeper take the twist an inch or two further. Take those airplane wings, bring your palms back together. If you're in that high lunge with the prayer, high prayer twist or just the high lunge with the big twist, just come down here, one breath in our low lunge, or a high lunge with a twist, with our prayer twist. Because again, we're gonna shift more and more weight into our left foot, we're gonna take breath in, and as you exhale, step your right foot up to meet your left, coming into that chair pose with a twist. Gazing up and over your left shoulder here, pulling your knees in line with each other, pulling your hips in line with each other here, okay? And again, you can stay here, arms gonna open up, or if this deep prayer twist is too much, come here, arms go long, your choice. We're gonna be here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly unwind, meeting in a forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale out. And then inhale, halfway lift, lengthen one more time. And as you exhale, bow forward. And then go ahead. Inhale, bring your thighs and kneecaps together. And then maybe you come up onto your two toes. And as you exhale, begin to lower your knees down towards the mat here. Coming into your double toe stand, walking your fingertips up towards your body. Taking our side curl on this side. And for realsies this time, we're going to take our knees out and over towards the right corner of our mat. Hands are going to come down onto the mat about shoulder width distance apart once more. And take your knees. So that way they're resting on your right tricep right above your right elbow. You can stay here, or maybe you begin to rock forward. Again, feet rest down on the mat as your hips come to rest on your left elbow. Or maybe you just lift your knees about your feet up off the ground. And always that option with time to extend out those legs. Good. Now the side view for this one. We look a little bit like this. And just like last time, take a few breaths here to play. Come out of the pose whenever you're ready. Again, option to stay in that deep stretch.
for three, two, and one. Take a breath in as you exhale, fold forward, forward, forward. Good. Take an inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale. And inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And as you exhale, bow forward. Take your right leg, sit a long back behind you. Right knee is going to go down to the mat. And you can just shift your weight and hips back. Half splits are handling. Just realize I forgot this on this side. So again, option to walk your palms, your hands up towards your hips, or maybe walk them down in front of you. Your choice. Pull on your left hip back and right hip forward here. And take a breath in as you exhale slowly into rock out of the pose. Good. And then just go ahead. Take both hands into the inside of your left foot. Walk your hips back a little bit and come into a seated position on your mat. A little fun way to get there. And so we're gonna do a little bit here on our bottoms before we take it all the way down to the mat. So take your left leg down in front of you. Pick up your right foot, take your right foot onto the mat and bring it as close towards your bottom as you can. Good, and you can stay here, this is the pose. Maybe you inhale, hands go up. And as you exhale, you hinge forward a little bit. Right hand goes out in front of your right shin. Left hand goes out. And you rest here. Maybe you begin to hinge forward, forehead touching down the kneecap. Or if you want to take this into a bind, you're going to flip your right palm back towards the, whatever's behind you and reach around. So that way, your right hand comes to rest about on your right hip. Right palm faces towards the back of your mat or whatever's behind you. And you reach your left hand around and you interlace your fingers. Okay? And you got an option to fold forward here. So I just give you like five iterations of the pose. So go to the variation that's best for you. You're gonna take a breath in as you exhale slowly on the line. Bring both hands down the mat. Pick up your right foot. Step your right foot over your left leg. Coming in towards our fish, our half lord of the fishes here. We're gonna end, left leg can stay straight or you can pull it in. Okay, and then so that way your left foot is next to your right bottom. So right side of your bottom, your right butt cheek, both hips resting down on the mat. And then inhale, hands go high. And as you exhale, take your right hand behind you, propping it down on the mat like a kickstand. Left elbow comes to the outside of your left knee as you twist nice and deep. Again, there's an option for a half bind here by reaching your right hand around for that left hip. Option for a full bind by snuggling that left hand in through the crack in between your right knee and your left thigh. But the point of this pose is to get a deep spinal twist. So gaze back behind your right shoulder, even using your eye muscles to move your eyes back there. For three, two, one. Slowly unwind, both hands come down, not baby push it. And then inhale, and as you exhale, come back up to neutral. Take your legs, extend them out in front of you, give them a wiggle, give them a roll. And then go ahead, keep your right leg along, pull your left foot in and put your left foot down the mat. Again, you can stay here, this is the pose. Or maybe you bow forward, arms go out. Left hand goes down, right hand goes down. You stay here, or maybe you bow forward. Again, there's an option for the half bind by flipping your left palm back behind you, bending your left elbow, wrapping it around your left knee, left palm resting on your hip. This is the pose. Or right up, hand can go back behind you, interlacing your fingers, and you bow forward. Again, this is this final variation right here that I'm showing right now is the deepest expression of the pose, and it's not where you have to go. This doesn't have to be your goal, okay? We just go to the variation that feels best to you and meets your body's needs right now. For three, two, one. Slowly begin to hinge up, coming out of the pose. Unlace your hands, or, or not your hands, whatever you want you prefer. Take your left hand, pick it up, place it over your right thigh. Stay here with right leg long or bend your right foot so that way down to the next towards your left butt cheek. And inhale, hands go up. And as you exhale, take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee as you take your left hand back behind you. Taking that deep kick, stay with that left hand and taking that deep twist. Same option here for a half or full bind by reaching your left arm around for your right hip and your right hip crease. And then snuggling your left hand underneath your left knee and in between your right thigh. Again, that's not the focus of the pose. That's not the goal of the pose. The goal of the pose and the focus is to get that deep spinal twist. For three, two, and one. Take a breath in and as you exhale, slowly unwind, plant both hands down on the mat. Baby push up, bend your elbows. And then begin to make your way up toward neutral. And then go ahead, unlace your legs. 
But instead of extending them long out in front, you plant them down on the mat here. And we're gonna take our arms out in front and we're gonna take a big breath in. And as you exhale, slowly begin to roll down onto your back for five, four. I went a little quickly there before, sorry, kind of three, two, one, get on your back. Once you get on your back, take a big good morning stretch. Your arms go long, legs go long. So now as you're ready to come into partial or climbed, basis of our ridge planning, both feet down the mat. Hands are to come down by your heels or your ankle or towards your ankles here, touching if not touching. And we're gonna take two back bends. Because we've been moving our spine right to left a lot and back and forth. So let's just go ahead and just take a two back bends. I'm gonna offer a wheel, two bridges, and I will offer a wheel as well. Um, with a second one. And if you want to do a wheel for both, you're more than welcome to. If you want to rest in a restorative bridge, that's also okay. If you're coming with me for the first bridge, go ahead and take a breath in as you exhale, push into the soles of your feet and lift your hips up off the mat here. Magnetizing your thighs together. Palms stay down on the mat, or if you want to make this more of a shoulder opener, walk your shoulder blades up underneath you, walk your hands up underneath you, interlace your hands, and press the pinky edge of your hands down to the mat. For five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly with control, make your way down, vertebrae, palm, vertebrae, and then go ahead, one shoulder for your knees, side to side, right and left, left and right. And then from here, we'll just meet back in stillness, gaze up towards the sky. Option here for another bridge or a wheel, your choice. Come with me, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, take your hands behind you. Plant your palms down on the mat, fingertips pointing in towards your shoulders, okay? Elbows straight up towards that sky. And we'll take a breath in as you exhale, just lift your hips up off the mat, coming into your bridge pose, okay? And just stay here if you've never done wheel before, working this variation of bridge. Or if you're familiar with wheel, try coming into it from this variation. Because all now you have to do is just press into your palms and extend out your arms. Because your center of gravity, your hips and your bottom are out of the way and it makes it a lot easier to extend up. Okay? And wherever you are, we'll hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly with control, release vertebrae upon vertebrae down the mat. And then hug both knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a big old hug here. Rocking side to side. And then inhale, and as you exhale, release your arms and legs long. Big good morning stretch. And then go ahead, keeping your left leg long, pull your right knee in towards your chest, and release your hands on top of your right shin. And give yourself a big old hug here as you pull your knee in, either towards your midline, towards your belly button, or out and over towards your right shoulder if you have tight hammies and tight hips. And then from here, take your right hand to the pinky toe edge of your right foot. Bend your right knee and bring your right foot up towards the sky, coming into a half happy baby here. Pulling your right thigh to the outside of your chest and your torso here. And go ahead, take a breath in as you exhale, release the grip on your right foot. And let your right knee fall down over towards the left side of your mat here. Arms come out to a T or field goals, whatever's best for you as you gaze out and over your right shoulder. Right knees out and over towards the left side of your mat, taking that deep spiral twist. Closing your eyes here as you begin to wind down your practice. Slow down your heart rate. Go take a big breath in as you exhale slowly and wind. Arms go long, legs go long. Take a big good morning stretch. Go ahead and inhale and as you exhale, pull your left knee towards your chest and release your hands the non-dominant way. So whatever way feels really, really funny here on top of your left thigh and your left shin. And again, pull your left knee in towards midline or out and over towards your left armpit here. Your choice.
massaging your descending colon right now, getting all sorts of good nutrients. And then just breath in, and as you exhale, release the grip on your left shin. Take your hand to your left foot. Bend your left knee and bring the left foot and the left sole of your foot up towards the sky, coming into a half happy baby. Maybe you rest your right hand on your right hip here, you press it down towards the mat to help anchor your body. And go ahead, take a big breath, and as you exhale, release the grip on your left foot, let your left knee begin to sway over towards the right side of your body. Right hand comes to the outside of your right knee, goes out over your left shoulder as you twist. Take a big breath in as you exhale, slowly unwind. Take a big good morning stretch. Your arms go long, legs go long. And then as you're ready, pull both knees in towards your chest and come into half. Be baby here. Both hand, left hand comes to the outside edge of your left foot. Right hand comes to the right outside edge of your right foot. Begin to rest here. Maybe you wrap side to side, massaging out your lower back. Maybe you extend one leg out and then the other, like cranky little baby. Or maybe you just rest here on the mat. You're going to take a big inhale in, and as you're ready on exhale, begin to come out of your pose, making your way either towards Supta Baddha Konasana or your final Shavasana, taking whatever poses you need along the way to bring down your practice here, taking whatever other poses are calling to your body right here and right now. And once you reach your final Shavasana, just go ahead and let your body begin to melt down to the ground. No rush to get there. Just melt here, releasing your thoughts. Releasing the control of your breath. As you feel your shoulder blades draw, and down, draw down your back and away from your ears. Your hips puddle into the earth. Your feet splay out to the side. Palms become heavy. Diaphragm relaxes. Stay here for as long as you need in this final pose of rest, soaking up the goodness of your practice and everything that is brought in today. And at the end of your practice, I invite you to think of one thing that you're super, super grateful for. And just keep that in mind. As always, it is an honor to teach. Namaste.